Hi there, so in this video I'm going to show you uh, how to properly perform the current out of bounds in Warhammer Vermintide 2 uh, in order to get a very easy character experience. Uh, and I'm going to show you with the um, a dwarf, uh, as you see, level 1. So you can do this with any character, not only Sienna, and you can um, you don't need any special abilities, and you can even do it at level 1. Uh, you see 15 power, all the basic uh, equipment, no talents, no nothing. Um, so basically, uh, just do a custom game. You only need the second mission of the game, Empire and Flame. So as long as you've played just the first map at least once, you've unlocked the second map. You can play it on champion difficulty in order to get the most experience. Using this method, you're going to get 600 experience in about 4 to 5 minutes and you make a private game just to keep things simple and you start the map um, as I'm doing this I'll be doing it without any scripts but you can make your life easier um, I'll include an auto hotkey script for faster jumping and also um, automated holding forward uh, because there's gonna be a, a little bit of walking for about two minutes just to make your life simpler so here you can press F2 and move on forward during the cutscene. You've probably seen other people do that uh, in online games. That's how they do it. You press F2 and then escape. So right near the beginning of the map, you just go, f uh, you just move forward, and you go to this fence over here. You see, fence goes up and goes down. The part where it goes up is where you go out of bounds. So as you see, this fence consists of four pillars: one, two, three, and four. Basically, where you go out of bounds is on this third pillar over here. So once you're lined up, you pretty much just start holding backwards, jumping as quickly as possible, and kind of keeping yourself bouncing between, like kind of around this pillar. It helps if you can jump as quickly as possible, but for the most part, it works just as long as you keep kind of moving across this pillar. It's easier with the script, as I'll show in a second. But for the most part, you can get it relatively easily, as you just saw. If you get in the groove of it, you can typically get it in less than a minute, no problem. Until you're out of bounds from the point you start the level. See, here's here it is again. All right, this took much longer than it should have. It's much faster with the script, and if you get into a groove of it, or maybe figure out for yourself, maybe it'll it'll feel a bit faster and easier. But basically, once you get it, you will jump on top of the fence suddenly, <laughs> and seemingly very easily. Like once it actually works, it. It's not even a very glitchy way. It feels as if it's, you know, it's intended. And you can just continue walking out. And all this stuff here is rendered, and most of it has collision enabled. But eventually, you see some details are kind of not quite finished. So you just continue forward. A lot of the stuff here you can actually touch, and you can explore if you want. They've added a ton of detail outside the map. Although some things don't have collision, like for example this rock. So basically, come over here and you aim for this uh, tower over here. If you can't, if you don't, if that's not rendered, just go between these two trees. Just aim yourself forward and just keep moving forward. So at this point, your bots are still stuck back in the beginning. Um, effectively, the bots will kind of prevent you from dying near the end because they'll try and revive you and they'll take, they'll make it slower to finish the map. Um, so, ideally, they'll get ambushed by an attack. So, if while you're doing this, at some point, you hear, like, the war cry um, of some chaos soldiers, then that usually means that they're get that your bots are getting ambushed and uh, will be dying soon. Okay, so once you get near this tower, you'll notice there's this geometry here. There's, this is a wall. Aim yourself to go behind this wall.
All right, so when you're near the end of the wall, you notice this stump appear over here. Head for the stump, because over here there's an invisible wall that you need to go around. So over here, you see how... Oh, okay, so yeah, see how I'm holding forward, but there's an invisible wall. So if you go around the stump and just keep jumping, you will eventually jump over the invisible wall. See, I'm, I kind of pushed up against it for a little bit, and then I got past it. Then head forward towards this little tree, towards this wall over here. So if your bots haven't died soon, once you're near this wall and near the inbounds of the game, your bots will all spawn right in front of you. There's another invisible wall here, so you want to move a little bit down towards here and try and jump over the invisible wall. you get the hang of it very quickly, very easily. So over here on this fence, you can easily jump back and bounce on many spots. So generally, ideally your bots are dead by this point, but if they're not, you basically have to get your whole party killed. If you're using a character like Sienna, you can just use your overheat um, to uh, kill yourself faster. Uh, this is pretty ideal. There's a chaos. Uh, sorry, a rat ogre. And yeah, my team will try and revive me, but it's okay because the second time you die, the mission will end because your bots can't rescue you. But basically, this is all it is. So you get yourself to the end of the level. Um, the sh uh, Bridge of Shadows is over there, but you can't actually go through it. The actual, tr um, you know, the actual trigger to end the level as a success isn't there, um, and you can't trigger it even when you're back in bounds. So here you go. You lose the map, but because you're effectively reached the end of the level, you get anywhere between 580. It's like a little gradient. The closer you get to uh, the Bridge of Shadows before you die, the better. So generally, if I'm able to, I'll get myself to the actual Bridge of Shadows, or at least the top of the hill, and die there. Uh, so yeah, you get between 580 and 600 experience. If you get exactly 600, it's enough to get a character from level 1 to level 3. And that's it. This is a fast and easy way to uh, level up your characters, get your uh, commendation chests, um, you know, get your characters to unlock at least the level 5 tier or unlock the various careers. Um, I want to also show you what this looks like um, when you have the script enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and start this again. And um, you'll see how much easier it is when you have the script enabled. Tell the screen is shaking, that's because my character is jumping. And you can also rotate your camera to turn the character even before you have control or full camera control. So with my script, if you press Shift and V, you it holds the forward key so you can walk without holding your, your keyboard. And if you press the tilde key, which is the button right to the left of the one, you will spam jump. So with the script enabled, you just move up against the wall, align yourself with the pillar. It's not about mashing super, super quickly. It's more about getting yourself kind of bobbing sideways as you're reaching the top of your jump. That seems to be what kind of helps this work a bit better. There you go. So yeah. See, I even got it. And then lost it. Let's try again. So yeah, I just want to kind of get yourself bobbing sideways at the top of your jump. Yeah, see, it's pretty simple. So yeah, this is... um. This is currently working in uh, Warhammer Vermintide 2. Uh, it might get patched later on, but it's been in the game for a little while, so you never know. Take advantage of it if you want to while you can. And yeah, thanks for watching.